Hello, hello, my friends. Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Welcome back to the face and the card making space. And hello, Mike. Whatever. Um, yeah, we will eventually maybe get some lull countdown music. It's on the list. Although you know when I do it, what's going to happen? It's going to break everything. So, anywho. Hello, hello. I'm glad you guys enjoy them. I really do. Um, yeah, yeah, everything should hopefully work today. Let's just, let's just hope. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hello to Scotland and Indiana and Wichita, Texas, etc. All the places, all the places, all the things we are going to hop right into it. Cause today is going to be as always a little bit chaotic. I'm going to be running solo in an hour. Yeah. Chris has got some important errands that need to be run. So he's he's going to moderate for a bit. And then I am going to be left in charge, which uh, might be interesting. <laughs> so let's see. We'll see what happens. It might be pure chaos. It happens. It does happen. It does Sometimes. happen. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I have plans. Like always, I have links to everything I plan on using in the description box below. For those watching live, it's also linked on this side, this side, uh, in the live chat at the top. It actually takes you, I, I even took the extra step. It's set up on my website. So you just click on the link. It'll open up on my website. And then it's picture links of everything I plan on using. Because again, Chris is going to gonna help out my unpaid intern's gonna help out for a bit and then he's gotta he's gotta jet and deal with some things before we are supposed to be hit with like not cool weather <laughs> like it's gonna be bad possibly so we're we're just we're dealing with it all so yeah hello to all my peeps we're just we're just gonna fly by the seat of our pants which is like I have fuzzies stuff <sighs> this is what happens and this is why I don't wear makeup and like stuff and I got lip gloss and it's sticky and fuzzies are sticking to me and I'm like annoyed. I think we're good. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. So many things. But hello to all my peoples. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. We're gonna we're gonna make some cards. That's that's what I do here. I make cards on the internet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Mm hmm. So yeah, all my disclaimers out of the way. Just yeah, be prepared. Like you never know, it uh, it might get completely stupid. Like, who knows? But I'm I'm kind of good at multitasking, sort of. But it is nice having the unpaid intern helping out. Okay, I don't need that. I'm just trying to think like how do I want to start this. Let's let's switch. Um. That thank you. I I this is the first time I've worn makeup in. A year something almost a year I don't wear it very often but my skin has just been like not happy with me like to the point where and I generally for the most part don't care you know you guys see me I throw my hair up I don't wear makeup in like any of my videos I for the most part don't care but I was feeling it this morning and I was like whatever like I'll just put some makeup on and then I was like oh. I wanted to run and do my passport photos after this because I need to renew that <laughs> I have a to-do list as long as my, like, arm, because I am going, people have been asking, I am going to create, it's in May, yeah, create is in May, I I am going, but I do need to renew my passport so I actually can go, so I want to turn away at the border, so, but maybe I'll wear makeup more often, I mentioned this in another live, that I actually enjoy wearing it, like, whatever it's just it's been so long that you kind of forget anyway anyway okay we're gonna i think everything's working everything's working and then okay we're gonna we got this and i have like a stack of inks literally i'm going completely overboard you don't need this many i've done videos showing how to do like rainbow blends things like that using like three inks like you don't need this many in fact if i was going to do just three i would do probably this 
this and this. I could do a rainbow blend with just these three, but I have all the inks and I just, I want to make this like super, super vibrant. That's the plan. Um, so let's just, let's just start. So I'm using, do, do, do. I'm using all the lighter shades, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, aqua, purple. Okay, those are the ones I'm going to start with. The darker shades I'm going to use a stencil with. There's always a method to the madness. So let's put these in their own stack and then we'll get to it. Okay, okay. Is that where it's coming from? Is it Alberta's fault that we're getting this bad weather? Yeah. Thanks, Alberta. <laughs> Thanks, Alberta. Okay, okay. Let's let's start ink blending. And like I always do, so one again, all the colors, everything's listed. Everything listed below, everywhere, yada yada. And like I do with rainbow, I start with yellow. Do you need to? No, I just do yellow first because yellow. I don't like getting other inks into my tools, whether it's my blending brushes, my pouncers, etc. Because with yellow, if I get all, any of the other colors into it, and then the next time I go to use it, a lot of times, because yellow is finicky that way, it'll kind of reactivate those colors. It makes a mess. Any of the other colors, it's not an issue. I don't mind like green picking up yellow, this picking up yellow. Duh, 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 duh. It, it's fine. And it usually doesn't matter at all. But yellow's finicky. So there's there's why I, there's method to my madness. And yeah, we're going to start with Sunbeam. And then basically, if you kind of visualize, if you're going to do my ridiculous method, um, yellow's kind of in the middle, yellow and green. So you visualize like the middle. So yellow would be like right here. That's, that's you know, that's what I'm going to do. So we're just going to, we're just going to blend. Also, I do have the form under the video. We're still going to give the card, I'm probably going to make two cards again, away. But this time, um, unless by some craziness that I'm actually still alive by the time Chris gets back. Um, but if not, I will draw the winners myself because I can do it myself. <laughs> I'll post it. Um, I'll post it like under the video. It's set, like I'll post somewhere to announce them because... Um, yeah, I can multitask, but I can't multitask that much. So that should hopefully make sense. And also I'm going to take my little post-it tape. Keep me from getting fingerprints like all over my cardstock. And then we're just going to blend and keep it simple. So yeah, hello to everyone checking in. Start with that. Yeah. There's one. Kind of visualize the middle. And then I'm going right above it. And I'm also starting to notice that I need to re-ink some of my ink pads. Because especially Sunbeam, that was one of the first colors that came out. So that's been, what, over a year? I think it's been over a year since these ones were released. I can't even remember anymore. But I use these so much that, yeah, I'm going to need to re-ink them. Okay. Yeah, no one's too late. I'm not doing anything exciting. Just basic ink blending. It's... Definitely one of those days where I was like, I'm not going to make things super complicated. <laughs> because just nope. Nope. Okay. So we'll start with yellow. And then we're going into, what color was this? Grapefruit? Yeah. Grapefruit. Blend that. Because who doesn't love gorgeous rainbow colors? 
Although now that I'm doing this, I'm gonna have a really sore arm probably by the end of the day. Do you need some boy strength? Some boy strength? Shut up. <laughs> I don't need no man. No. no. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oop, I already got ink smeared. Whatever. Whatever. Um. Oh, it showed up. That's awesome. Thank you, Cheryl. Yeah, sometimes you guys like email me and stuff, which is awesome. Like, you don't have to. You know, it's just. I'm just glad. Cards are, you know, getting through and people are actually receiving them because you never know sometimes. Boy, I did mail out. I mailed out last week's live and the one before it. Last week, like a few days. So those one definitely the winners from last week and the one before those probably won't start showing up till like this coming week because it was also a, we had a holiday last week, too. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mailed them out whenever. I forget which day. I didn't take a photo to commemorate like I usually do because just too many things. Too many things. Okay, now we're on to carnation ink. So let's get this and then um, you're an independent woman. Yep. More so just stubborn. Unbelievably stubborn. <laughs> Stubbornly independent. Stubbornly independent. Mm-hmm. <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> yep. Yep. Candy corn. But yeah. Yeah. Totally candy corn. Oh, man. They're not in season. They aren't in season. I think. But I do love me. Some candy corn. And peanuts. Yep. Yep. Roasted salted peanuts and candy corn. Always. Like. And yes, mini M&Ms with it does like. Oh, it's like the best form of trail mix. You can take all the healthy parts out. Yep. True though. Really? I don't I don't consider trail mix even healthy trail mix. It's not really that healthy, honestly. No. Like the amount of stuff that's in it, it's. Yeah, but my kind of trail mix, it's a good little snack. So there we go. So we're getting, we're getting our blend on. It's, it's, things are working. Things are working. Good. Okay. Um, yeah, we're hoping, but we'll see. Like the weather here is just, it's been decent lately. And now it is, we are in for a week of just hell. <laughs> Like, we're headed right back. It's like freezing, rain, miserable, horrible, grossness. And then on top of it, it's supposed to hit like minus 30 Celsius and just... With 80 kilometer winds. With 80 kilometer winds. I'm... Man. So, yeah. I'm just not... I like this blend. I, I'm not looking forward to this gross weather. So, we'll just, we'll just see. We'll just see. But for now, we're having fun and crafting... And I just need to, I'm going to clean up some of this ink so that I don't um, get them all blended into each other and create mud. We want rainbows, not mud. Okay, do that. And we get back to this. And now we're going into green, which for this will be, I need a bigger piece of this post-it tape. There we go. This will work better. Which will be limelicious. Limelicious. And let's see what else I might have on this brush. Okay. I'm not a fan of wind. Yeah, neither. Um, uh, you mentioned it'll be a great. Create is, it's Simon Says Create. It is in person in Columbus, Ohio. Just Google Simon Says Create. And it'll pop up the, because Simon Says Stamp will have a post on it so far. Nothing other than the dates have been announced. Stay tuned for either the end of this coming week or just stay tuned in the next week or two. 
um, because Heidi said in her last live that they'll be announcing things as in because like there's you know, there's classes you can sign up for like there's all kinds of stuff so like the official announcements and stuff is coming soon but yeah i went last year and i am going this year it's gonna be all kinds of fun so yeah and then yeah i hate wind absolutely hate it i'm it gives me migraines, which is wonderful when you live in a province that's like windy 90% of the time. We are on the flat. Yep, we are. And it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, my kind of wind is like a nice ocean breeze when you're laying on the beach drinking Mai Tais or something, you know? Why can't I have that kind of wind? Anyway. <laughs> uh, beggars can't be choosers. Yay, Jessica. It's it should be fun. It should be fun. Um You're supposed to be getting that cold here in West Central Very sure it's coming from Alberta. That's what they're saying. It's an Alberta it's clipper. It's an Alberta clipper, but it, it doesn't necessarily come from Alberta, but it's Ah, uh, it's not necessarily coming from Alberta. But they named it after Alberta, so yeah. we'll still blame Alberta. <laughs> it's all your fault. Uh, yeah, just horrible weather, basically. It's it's gonna hit us pretty hard, is what we're what we're hearing. Not fun at all. Just gross, 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 gross. That's all I have to say about that. All right, so we have green, and then we go in to one of my favorites, surf. Which this one I have re-inked because it is one of my most used colors. And I loves it. Okay. Uh, I'd love to go to Crete, but it's a 17 hour drive for me. Well, it's an international flight for me. So it's <laughs> where there's a will, there's a way. Okay. Um Yeah. I think there's quite a few people that, well, there was a lot of people that went last year. It was, it was overwhelming to say the least. Um, I do know, cause Heidi, again, she said it in her, um, in her live that they've doubled the space from what they had last year because yeah, we, we broke fire codes the first day with the amount of people and it was just, it was wall to wall. It was insane. It was pure insanity. And then they, they did expand as much as they could the next day, yada, yada. But then this year, it's like, they just doubled the space. So, it should be good. Okay, so we got that. Oh, I love me a rainbow blend. Okay. Um... I would get there and hide in my room. I don't think I'd be able to deal with my anxiety. Oh, yeah, I've talked about this in my lives. I have severe anxiety. Like, severe. And I did. I ran to my room many times. And then I would call Chris sobbing. Yes. <laughs> many times. <laughs> so many meltdowns. I can laugh about it now, but it was legit. Like, it was legit. But because I've been there once, it's not as bad. Um, I'm, I'm able to better deal with my anxiety once I have a rough idea of like what I'm getting myself into, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm sure I'll be running off to my room to cry many times. Cause I just, it's very overwhelming dealing with a lot of people, even though it's all good things. Like it's just overwhelming, but still really fun. And it was still worth it. And I'm going again. So either I'm a glutton for punishment or deep down you're really enjoying yeah i did i did really enjoy it it was just it was very very overwhelming but still loads of fun so yeah okay now we're doing what am i doing i'm purple orchid okay we're getting there it's gonna be a super bright happy card because why not? Let's make, like, happiness and rainbows before miserable weather is supposed to hit here. Uh, I 
I don't know if SSS has a cart of all our ink colors in their three color combos. I pop, maybe. I'm not sure. I would have to check later to see because they have been like doing up like bundles of um their ink pads and all those things. But yeah, I, I off the top of my head, I can't 100% recall. Um, get positively or rainbow splash ink pads they're the same they're the exact same um rainbow splash is just a line that simon says stamp started um big it's a beginner but i use quotations with that because like specifically the ink pads they're the same you know because simon uses the same manufacturer they use, you know, the same things. It's just, it's beginner in the sense of like, there's like a whole rainbow just in that little selection of rainbow splash, etc. But like the ink pads are the same. The colors are slightly different, you know, so they're not repeated between positively and the rainbow splash. But yeah, you can do either or or both. You know, they all play well together. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, we got that. We started with that. I just need to clean up this one again. Where's my water? Okay. Don't want to get water splats on this yet. We'll do splatter later. Okay. Clean that off. And then I do not, I'm, I'm going to, I, and I just found this out right before I started like to go live. This specific grip mat is no longer available. And I was losing my mind doing up my links because you guys have seen, I have multiples of these. This is my favorite. And then I went and checked and apparently Waffle Flower has discontinued it because of some manufacturer issues and they're coming out with a new one. That's all I know. So yeah, I linked to the six by six one, which is also great, but I prefer the bigger one. And yeah, we'll just see. I have no clue. I just did some research and I'm like, of course the thing I love the most is getting discontinued, but like there's some method behind the madness so is what it is but i just thought i would mention that because in case someone was looking for it because i do use this a lot and link to it and then i couldn't find the links and i was like what is going on what is happening ah! but anyway i like my grip mats a lot i use them a lot as you can tell because mine are heavily 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 stained um how do you re-ink the ink pads you just take it Especially with these, you just take it, you take your rinker, and that's it. That's it. Yeah, and with these, you will see, like, this is actually looking pretty dark. It's because I re-inked it recently. Yeah. You can start noticing. They'll start getting lighter. And you'll just, you'll notice after a while. So I just squish ink into it. It's just, it's fine. You know? And then I let it sit for a bit. And it's fine. So that's all you do. Nothing, nothing crazy with that. Okay. I need that. And... I'm gonna do the inside of my card at the same time because this is how we roll. So I got my card base and some post-it tape. And then I'm gonna use this super cute little um, stencil. This is the, what is this? I didn't even think. The pony love stencil because it's got little horseshoes in it, which I thought was really cute. So we're going to use this stencil. And this is where we're going to use the brighter inks. You can use the same inks. And I've, sh again, I've shown that in video. And I can just layer the same inks, you know, over top. And it's fine. But I want this to be intense. So less el elbow grease. So we're just going to do... The deeper shades of the same colors because why not and like always we'll start with yellow and do i want to be this ridiculous i kind of think i want to be this ridiculous yeah yeah there's oh yeah there's a method to my madness okay we're gonna just start so again starting with yellow and it's e the this is like the easiest part because everything's already laid out so we're just following it that's all we're doing so I'm starting with citrine. Is that what I was using? Yes. Very intense yellow. 
So we start with that, and then I am going to be bouncing around on all of these backgrounds because it makes life a little easier. So without re-inking my brush and with just really light pressure, and I've shown this in a lot of videos, I do that. So I'll get a lighter impression on the inside of the card because I don't want the inside to be super intense. I want it to be a little bit lighter so that I can write over it. And then I'll just kind of keep repeating since I'm doing two card fronts and two insides. So go back in and again I'm starting with my yellow so that I don't pick up all the random colors into my yellow brush because I have managed to keep my yellow brush like you know we don't need to keep our supplies pristine but the yellow one it just it deserves to be protected who what now nice yellow, nice yellow. I do like yellow I don't like filming with yellow and I don't like taking photos of cards with yellow because yellow just screws up everything it's annoying but it's pretty so yeah so I don't know why I keep lining this up perfect it doesn't need to be lined up perfectly at all okay yeah then we do this one again just like so and then light pressure I'm not pressing it into the ink pad just using kind of whatever's on the stencil, whatever's on the brush. Just like so. And then we can go back and start doing the other ones. So once the yellow is down, the rest actually comes together pretty easily. Kind of line it up. Line it up, and now we can go on to the green and the orange. Try not to Got my thumb in all the colors. All right, green and orange. So we got perfection and mandarin. So I'm gonna go in. With the green. And then the orange. Um, it's more like I said, I want this to be, I want this to be vibrant. And then when you peel it off, see, method to the madness. Now we just gotta line that guy up. Yep. And then same, same thing. Just light pressure without re-inking the brush. Like magic. So yeah, and then we just repeat, repeat. Okay. Um, thank you, Kimberly. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. The only issue with doing two at once is trying not to set white card bases into ink pads because you know that happens all right let's do that and then we go back to this one line her up line her up there you go and then we do it again Throat surf, pansy and cherry and heart and paw stencil. Yeah, I like the. They've done several now 
of stencils like this. Because, yeah, there was ones with these hearts and then little paws. And I think there was one other one, wasn't there? Or am I just losing my mind? I just, when this one came out, I was like, oh, I see a theme. And it makes sense now, mm -hmm. you know. And orange. I want to blend that over this one. And it's just fun. And then we just line her up again on the inside of this one. Give it a little zhuzh with the brush. Uh, any word on when the new colors will be released in mini cubes? No idea. Um, we will know when they're released. <laughs> there's there's been a lot of requests for it, so I wouldn't be surprised if they'll do a set in their next um in the next Simon release potentially, but I don't speak for them so I can't say for sure um I'm not sure how far behind they are with the cubes now like like how many colors they've released that are missing in the cubes um because I just assume too that some of it has to do with just production and manufacturing like you need enough to make it worth it sort of a thing but yeah at this point I wouldn't be surprised I would not be surprised if you know we get some ink cubes soon but I have no clue officially. Um, now we're going in with peony and ocean. Very intense. In fact, with the ocean, I am most likely going to use a little bit of a lighter hand because it's a very deep, very deep color. And peony is one of my favorites. It's just like... A gorgeous deep deep pink so yeah we're gonna we're gonna tap this one off a little bit and then blend that and there's something about like the blend the green that cr is created between like ocean and perfection chef's kiss absolutely love it you'll see it more when I Pull the stencil off. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love it. Okay. Let's get this line up again. Yep. And then lighter hand. No re inking. And same with this one. method to the madness you know then we just repeat and this will soften a bit because the positively saturated inks do dry back and soften as they dry which is nice because then it makes you look like you're like super awesome good at blending when more often than not I'm not or I'm just too lazy to be that good at it so it's another reason why I like these inks. And the Concord 9th inks are very similar. And the Rainbow Splash inks are like the same formula. So they all work great together on their own, whatever floats your boat. Okay. Um, and then, uh, there we go. Now we do it again. Yes, you did catch me. <laughs> uh, I'm usually not too hard to find. If I'm not live, while well, I'm live Sundays, on Sundays we go live. 2 p.m. Central. And then the rest of the time I'm posting all my other videos on YouTube. YouTube website, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, those are the places you can find me.
And then we go back in with ocean. And we blend that in. Just like so. Love it. Love it. And then we do the inside. Making sure it's all lined up. Light hand. The old George. Same with this one. Light hand. And then all we have left is purple. Purple. So let's put that there so that I don't um, forget. And then we go in to amethyst. So stick that there. And then Add this to the bottom of the blend. Love it. So then we can take get that lined up. Light hand. There's the inside of one card. For the most part done, I'm probably gonna stamp a sentiment later on. But yeah. It's so bright and cheerful. It is so bright and cheerful. Mm-hmm. And we'll go in with the next one. Um, like that. And then this guy set him who make sure I don't flip it over into the ink pad because you know that would suck okay last one line up the stencil and then add the purple and go like that I do this one. Get oh, yeah. Yeah. Kind of. No. Where are you going? Get in your home. There we go. There we go. I did it. Okay. Lid. There it is. Lid. So we got two backgrounds. This is what I was aiming for. Bright and vibrant. That's what I wanted. Hence the ridiculousness with like 20 ink pads. Worth it. Totally worth it. So let me get all this stuff out of the way. Out of the way, and then I can just take the ink off like so. And then these guys are done with for now. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna need these, so I can put their put their little covers on them. Okay, so let's do that. E. And that, and then, and then, slide in, uh, pink, orange, yellow, green, let me put my brushes away as well, not getting, there we go, my elbows and everything, Splatter. we're going to use my Gonzai Tombi Starry Colors, And, you know, <laughs> you know, if you know, you know, and then we'll add some gold. 
because because that's just what we do. Alrighty. Sense of reminds me of Lucky Charm cereal. I know, right? It does. It does. <laughs> yes. Don't steal any Lucky Charms now. Uh, so yeah. Add a bit of water. Use my little fan brush. Mix it till you're happy with the consistency. There's, it's not rocket science. I'm going to have to buy a new one of these soon. I'm like hitting pan because I've been using. Well, you guys know I use this so much because it's my favorite. Ink. Yeah. Yeah. This should be good. Oh, yes. Get some more, get some like splotchy splotch. Yes, we love splatter on this channel, and if you don't like it, that's okay because nobody is forcing you to like it or do it on your cards. But you don't need to go on other people's content and complain and whine about it. Sorry, I'm letting my thoughts out. Who would have thought there'd be so much drama and craziness over a splatter? You just need to calm yourself. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> you wake up on the wrong side of the bed. You just yeah. need a calm down. <laughs> True. True. Like, I guess if that's the cause you're gonna, you know, the hill you want to die on is fighting with me over swallow, well, sadly. Ones that like to fight with me over it realize they trigger my my petty bone, and it's, it's over. It's over. It will forever be splatter, and now I add more. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay. Uh, yep, you guys know, you know. I'm not going to quit doing what I enjoy doing. And besides, like, it is. It's just, it's shiny. It's shiny. We like shiny. Let's, no, I can't put that there. Crap. I need a bigger boat, man. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. And while I let that dry, I'm just going to clean off my stencil, too, because that's part of the issue, is I'm scared I'm going to set something and like smear ink on oh, my absolutely filthy towel, which is whatever. And then, yeah, since it was water reactive ink, I can just basically clean it with water. Um, oh, I'm being dead serious. There was ridiculous not necessarily drama, but I, I noticed the pettiness of the other person in a recent live chat. Not on my live chat, but we were going on about splatter. And she she kept chatting and kept put, putting spattering, like with like 15 A's. Yeah. I love spatter. And I just, I, love I got what she, yeah, I got what she was trying to do. She, what, you know, she was just, she's like, this isn't a crime scene. It's matter and i'm like oh honey you want it? it's a new one we got a new one now taking up the mantle of literally that's what she said and i'm just like i get there's a lot of true crime girlies in that kind of overlap this space and people are really into it but you don't need to take your love i guess i don't know what word to use because i'm not really into true crime stuff but i get that people like it i'm not gonna get people's yum it's fine but you don't need to take those terms and start applying it to... It's card making. Seriously. Like, you know, if I actually start just, you know, actual blood splatter, then maybe there's something to analyze and terminology is important. But, you know, until that day happens... A crafting room isn't a crafting room if it doesn't look like a crime scene. I'm anyway. <laughs> it's kind of true. My craft room does look like a crime scene, but not like in that sense. You know, I just, 
some people just need to chill. But and whatever. And I'm being uh, just as petty. And I can admit it. I am petty. You know, more so not because of the terminology, but I got petty because people went after little creators and were just vile over splatter, you know. And so now I just it's my mission in life to be petty. So whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyway, those are my two cents on that. <laughs> uh... Anyway, it's true, you guys. And I'll just I'll... <laughs> is what it is. Is what it is. I moved my. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's my gold cardstock? Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, that right there. You know, we don't all have to agree. You know, if if people want to be, um grammar police or whatever literally with this it is irrelevant i will die on that hill because it is it's irrelevant but with some things you know and if you don't like certain things that's great it's actually a good thing that we don't like all the same things i'll say this forever i will beat this drum you know it'd be boring because if we all liked the same things and we you know everything would look the same like all our cards would look the same all life would be the same it would be so boring so yeah, you know, I, I get it, but I am beyond done, beyond done with the ones that decide to, again, yuck on someone's yum and go on and leave horrible comments and, you know, well, actually, I was like, the minute you start with that, oh, I swear it just triggers something internally. So, yeah, you know. As the wonderful Tim Holt says, if you don't have something kind to say, find something kind to say. Or fall back on the old, because I don't like that saying, really. It, it's old and dated. Like, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. That should be a last resort. I think people should just try a little harder to be kind and just say something nice. Especially for smaller creators. Like, I love all the nice comments and stuff. It, um... They're nice. They make my day. And I appreciate it. And I try to respond to everybody and all the things. But especially for smaller creators, it's it's a it's a hellscape out there sometimes. And people just need to be nicer, you know? Like if you're having a bad day and you're just being miserable, go outside, touch some grass, maybe don't sit in front of a keyboard. That's my thoughts anyway. Okay. We're gonna do some die cutting. <laughs> uh, um, it's your channel and you get a set policy. Yeah, it's true. Um, it's uh, it, this with my stuff, this is, it is my channel, it's my social media. So I don't have to platform the insanity and I don't. And I will fight against it. And it makes some people very mad. It even makes people mad when I address it. Because then I get comments of people just like, Ugh, like, meh. Because they're offended. And really, the you know, the term hit dog hollers. When I fight against meanness and negativity and pettiness and all this stuff. And people choose to be offended over that. Maybe, maybe stop and think for a second. You know, because I'm not calling anyone out by name. I will if I have to, you know, because that's part of it. I don't play the game of anonymous. If you're going to post publicly with your username and you're going to be nasty, I have no problem taking screenshots and posting said things publicly because really like welcome to the Internet. So I am not beholden to. Uh, to allow it or to give every, anyone anonymity, you know? That's that's not how this works. So, yeah, yeah. That's, that's all I gotta say about that, for the moment, anyway. Um, there's always a next, next episode. Yeah, there's always a next episode. There's always something. <laughs> there's always something that someone that decides to pop out of the woodwork, and yeah, like, it just is. Anyway, yeah, we're using the fancy lucky wafer die. <laughs> Uh, 
I do try and keep it free of negativity. I do. You know, I am all, and I've said this and, and I'll, and I still stand by it. I am all for constructive feedback, you know, but people that like to be passive aggressive, petty, and, and then downright mean, no. Um, and again, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I said that in the last live when, or no, it wasn't the last one. I think it was the one before. Yeah, it was the one before when someone like gave a suggestion and I actually took it and I was like, I don't like when people give me advice. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. I'm a strong independent woman. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. But my when I get over my immediate like ah! response when someone's giving constructive feedback and then I'm like, okay, I'm being immature. I need to maybe take some maybe take some advice, you know? Sit with it for a second. And sometimes they are really good ideas or it's good feedback, whatever. But yeah, yeah. So I'm definitely not perfect. In fact, I am a total, <clears throat> starts with a B word, you know, the B word. I'm trying to keep my lives somewhat butterfly. family friends. <laughs> butterfly, I'm a butterfly. <laughs> As I say to Chris all the time, I'm a delight. You are hashtag blessed. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh. Okay. Language evolves even if spatter was correct at one time. Yeah, and it does. It, it will still, I think, forever in my life irritate me that Merriam-Webster added irregardless to the dictionary. I just, I, uh, I don't like it. That one just, no, you know, but yeah, language does evolve. And again, people get too, way too hung up over a spatter and splatter. It, it doesn't. It literally, I have magnets. I was sent magnets. It, this is in magnet form you know it just i just i need to get it like tattooed on me at this point it's getting so ridiculous <laughs> uh is there oh here we go is there a certain type of value that you use that's easy to jacket i'm using back to like the actual cover. i'm using simon says stamps vellum it's a good weight. I'm not 100% certain of the weight. I think it might be listed, but it's it's linked with the supplies. And it's not too heavy and it's not too thin, you know, because there, there are heavier weights of vellum out there, which are nice. But the problem with heavyweight vellum is it just depends. Again, it depends on what you're doing. And I haven't come across like really heavyweight in a long time, like in years. I just remember trying to use heavier weight and it can even die cutting it. Sometimes it'll crack because vellum can be brittle. So this stuff is great. Thinner vellums do work. It just gets a little iffy sometimes with thinner weight vellums. Like if like something like this, like a little outline, you're fine. But it's when you're when, you know, cause we like to die cut like foliage and, 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 and finicky things and thinner weight vellum vellums, they'll die cut fine. But sometimes when you're trying to like remove them from the dye, et cetera, like they can tear because they're just vellum is finicky. But I use Simon's vellum and have for, I don't even know how many years now. And I've never had a problem with it. Like it works great. It works great. So, um, Tammy, you didn't really miss anything. Just me going on a rant. What else is new? <laughs> you know, just is what it is. Yes. Yeah, just me being a little spicy because I get welcome to the chaos. Um, yes. I don't like being told what to do, but constructive criticism from my husband, I greatly appreciate. He often helps me with the cards. One, that's nice. I don't with Chris because he's he's not here. Is he leaving? He, oh, he's probably got to go right away. Um, he doesn't really help me with card making because he doesn't have like an eye for it however and i also just he likes to give ideas but we ignore chris's ideas because usually they're either completely inappropriate or ridiculous aren't they yeah what did i disagree to? <laughs> you disagree to when you try to give me card ideas 
You don't give me advice because you know better with card making, but sometimes you like to give me ideas for cards and they're an app. Ridiculous. Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I look for things that just exist. Exactly. Like, just ridiculous stuff. But in life, yes, he and I will give each other constructive criticism and then we both will go off and pout in our separate corners. Yes. Think about it. Come back and be like, you were right. Okay. I'm sorry. Man. So, you know. And both of us can admit that. Both of us can admit that we're like pouty little babies over it. And it just takes a while because you got to sit with it sometimes. Yes. You know, sit with it, think of it, maybe mull over several ways to dispose of the body. Because, <laughs> you know, that's, I don't know, doesn't everybody do that? <laughs> the true crime girlies know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, Simon's gold man card sock, by the way. That's what I'm using to do the, the, what will be the top layer of this die kit. Because, of course, we're stacking. Because, as the great Laura Bassin always says, dimension is life. It's life. Okay. Yep. Truth. Um. Yes. And I agree with you, um. Heather splatter just sounds but I just I legit now it because of the drama really when I hear spatter I just I just it makes me twitch it's bad but I can admit I have just become unbelievably petty with it because I don't know look what you made me do wah <laughs> uh um if you only had that other person's address, you could mail them a magnet. I know, right? No, I just say what I say. They're she, they're well aware. Don't we don't put a give a magnet? We buy a billboard. I should get a billboard. Yeah. No, I just get. It's funny. There have been many times over the last couple weeks. I'll just pop into random makers' lives, and almost every time they're starting to splatter something, and I was like. The bat signal has been lit because that's when I happen to pop in and say, and I'm just, and because I'm petty, I'm like splatter in the chat. And then I leave like a crazy person. Like, I'm not kidding when I say welcome to the chaos. Anywho. You're like a superhero. <laughs> like a superhero. Yeah. Needed. I just show up when I'm needed, Seriously. leave a few comments, cause a little trouble and then run away like a crazy person. Like. Anyway. <laughs> Years later, they whisper, was she really even there? <laughs> yep. Okay, we got some pieces to it here. Gonna use my little... Well, this is the fine tip one. I don't need the fine tip one. I just need the regular tip one. Because, yes, I have more than one. I did do a review on this already. Let me get back to my... Uh, um... Um... Uh, Helping each other bury the bodies. Yep. 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 It's true. I forget whose live it was, too. And it just, just when I turned in, I was just like, it was just the first thing that occurred to me. I was like, someone looked bad signal. It's like, it's splatter time. And did I clog this? A little bit. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay. Anyway, I did a, for those that aren't aware, if you know, if you don't watch all my videos, which, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I did post an entire review of the glue press Dumahickey, um, be a couple weeks ago now on my channel. And I managed to clog this one good. Because of course it clogs on a live. Good job, Amy. You're winning at life right now. Let's just get in there. Get in there. Clean it out. It should be fine. We'll be good. Okay. Um should create the splatter club oh you guys don't give me ideas we'll get t-shirts <laughs> ah. uh, that doesn't help that you know you guys that follow me and just understand when i'm being just silly and petty and whatever and then you guys encourage it and it's so bad i'm gonna get myself in trouble anyway okay i did a review of this so for those that are like curious, you can check that out. It's on my channel. I genuinely like it. I do. It. My hands, um, as I'm getting older, plus I have 
like genetic disposition towards like arthritis. I've had borderline carpal tunnel since I was a teenager. And I just started noticing more and more in a lot, especially in the last couple of years, like, cause I make a lot of carts, you know, I, I do a lot. This is my job. So I would start noticing like squeezing glue bottles and stuff. I was starting to get like pain. So for me, this thing's great. Um, yeah. Splatters Anonymous. <laughs> yes. Yes. We are the, here, there we go. Yes. Welcome. For those unaware, that welcome to to the Splatters Anonymous meeting. That's that's what my lives are now. <laughs> Either that, or it could be kind of like Fight Club, and we don't we don't talk. First rule: we don't we don't talk about splatter. You know. Anyway. How does Memento Ink create? It's decent. It's okay. I'm. I used to use Memento inks a lot. But that was also because we didn't have very many options. Now that we have options, I haven't touched my Memento ink other than I have the Memento Tuxedo Black marker. That one I use frequently. Well, when I actually do fussy cutting, because I don't do fussy cutting very often either, because we don't have to anymore, which is wonderful. Um, but yeah, it is Memento. Like the Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad has always been like a decent one for um, alcohol marker coloring. I just, again, we now have so many options that just use whatever uh, suits you. As far as the color inks go, they were always okay, but I, I can't even really say anything about them anymore. It has been so many years since I've used those inks. It's been probably, what, 10? I don't even know. It's been a long time. Okay. So we got layers. Layers. And we're just going to keep it here in these layers. Okay. Um... <laughs> I know, right? I make cards on the internet. I literally say that phrase to myself many, many times, and I say it to Chris, too, when just some of the ridiculous crap I have to deal with sometimes, because trust me, behind the scenes sometimes, it's nuts, and I literally am like, woo-saw, you know, rubbing my ears, and I'm like, I make cards on the internet. I make cards on the internet. Wow! <laughs> Who'd have thunk, man? And I am also well aware that I kind of, I don't invite the chaos per se. Sometimes I do. With the splatter stuff, I invite it. Like, bring it on. You know, you want to just bring it on. But with other things, I was like, I didn't, I didn't ask for this. Why, why is this chaos getting dumped in my lap? But yeah, again, I would rather me than, um, yeah, the smaller creators having to deal with some of the, some of the crazy stuff. Because, yeah, people just be miserable sometimes. Anywho. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Splatters Anonymous. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Is what it is. And as far as this little doomahiggy goes, I, I do. I do like it. I've noticed it's, for me, it's been working. It's not for everybody, and that's okay. If you're happy with your glue situation and, you know, the brand of glue that you like and use and did it, whatever it is, you know, if it works for you and you're happy with it, wonderful. Again, it's crafting. It's not rocket science, and it's a hobby, you know? Like, you don't need all the tools or all the things or X, Y, Z every single letter of the alphabet number da, 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 da. you know and again that's saying this is coming from someone who does have like a lot one i do it as a job so there's an exception and two i'm just naturally curious and i like to order things so um yeah um i would rather encourage i would yeah and it's true and that's where, you know, and someone, this was a while ago. This was a while ago. I had someone, it was on my Facebook page because I was, I was addressing, like I was dealing with just some ridiculous trolling and drama and crap, whenever, this was a while ago. But I said, I was like, you know, there's, you know, constructive, and I said, constructive criticism, you know, 
And then someone responded and they were like, I really prefer the term constructive feedback. And I was like, took me a second, you know, because my initial, you know, because I don't like being told what to do or what to think. But I stopped and sat with it for a second. I was like, you know, you're right. Constructive feedback is a whole different thing. You know, you don't need to criticize someone. You don't need to. If you, you know, if you see them doing something and you think that maybe there's a better way, like. It, it all depends on how you're, you know, coming at it. You know, if you don't like their color combo, who cares? You know, if you don't like the their choice of of stamps or that they use splatter, again, who cares? Who cares? Like, does it hurt you? Is the splatter in the room with you right now? Do we need to call someone? You know, I just people get really bent over to shape over ridiculous things. But when it comes to actual constructive feedback, there's a difference. And I think more often than not, people need to sit and just think, like, is this necessary? Is this kind? Like, or do, am I just yelling into the void because I'm having a bad day and I want attention? Because that's usually what it is. So, yeah. Yeah. Um feels like rocket science when I'm arranging my florals. Yes. Some like floral arrangement is a struggle. Some people have such an eye for it, whether it's real flowers or flowers on cards. I've talked about this. Floral arrangements almost is rocket science. I'm getting there. I'm getting better. Like yay me. It only took me 20 years. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's still like uh, so, and it just and it is. It's one of those things some people just have an eye for it. Like they just and they and they also are very good at explaining their eye for it. Whereas me, I'm like, I don't know. I just stuck it there because I thought it looked pretty. <laughs> uh, what black soot paint do you use? Yeah, it's actual paint. And I linked to it. So I used black soot paint in the video I posted. Was that yesterday I posted that video? Um, I list and link everything I use. Because I've been dealing with that a lot lately too. Is people... Um, asking and I, I say it in my intros I say it at the end etc and always everything I use is always linked in the description box below the video and like everything and if I forget something then totally leave a comment and I'll edit my links because every once in a while I forget to link to something which is so annoying when I do that to myself because it's like it's always the one thing that people want so yeah I always list and link everything I use one, to make it easier for people to find things. And two, because I do use affiliate links. Because that helps me keep the channel up and running and pay the bills. So, yeah. Um, okay. Let me, so, now we're going to adhere this onto the vellum outline. Just like so. I got it centered there so it's on its little vellum outline um, um, my friend is a florist over there sometimes we'll go on go I know like yeah they just some people really either they develop an eye or some are just like born with it you know and they just ugh, like I love it. I love seeing people do those sorts of things. Same with like cake decorating, you know, and they'll create like arrangements and do all these things. And I'm like, man, you're so good at what you do. Love it. Love it. Uh, ah, thank you, Leanne. I appreciate it. So yeah, now I'm running solo. Just FYI for those watching, it's just me here. So things are going to get interesting. I don't have my, my unpaid intern because he is for those that have missed the beginning, he has to go deal with some important things before the crazy um, weather hits. So he's going to go do all those things. So now it's just me here. So welcome, welcome to the, the real chaos, you know? I don't have a... I don't have um, him to keep me in track. Not like he does. You guys know. Anyway. <laughs> 
don't understand why people have to ruin it for everyone. Honestly, people are just miserable, like way too miserable. And there's a million reasons we're not going to get into the reasons because I keep all of that stuff off of my channel, off my social media, and I will delete and ban in the comments 100% because we are just, we're not getting into those topics. This is, you know, crafting and it's just, it's my channel, it's my space, but people are miserable and it's sad, really. Um, cause you know, if you're just having that rough of a time of it that you feel the need to just go after makers that post free content online, it's, it's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. So yeah, we're on our own. We don't have any babysitters. It's just us. So, you know, welcome to the chaos. <laughs> Literally. I feel like I should like drop a whole bunch of swears or something. <laughs> Which is silly, because Chris knows I swear like a trooper in real life. It's it's therapeutic. I don't do it online, you know. I just get it out of my system and move on with my day. I don't feel the need to leave nasty comments for people or, you know. Yeah, it's... It... So whatever happens in our defense, we were left unattended. Truth. Yep. Yep. We were left unsupervised, man. Who knows what's going to happen? It's going to get crazy. Okay. I got everything adhered. There's our little sentiments. Doop, doop. And they've got, because they were stacked, they've got that nice dimension. Dad's gone. Let's get wild. Yep. <laughs> oh, dear. Got everything. Yeah. Okay. So we got our little sentiments. Let's move that over there for a second. Let's stop. Have a drink. Yep. No one's going to tattle on us. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. My splatter is dry. Oh, see, this is why I love it. Seriously. Seriously. How can you not love that? If you don't, it's okay. It's okay. It's totally okay. I do want to trim this down a little bit carefully. I want to trim it down carefully. Um, uh, people who curse are known to be more honest. There's all kinds of theories that get posted. Like apparently the people who swear a lot are like extra intelligent. I, I don't know. I don't feel any more intelligent than the next, but because yeah, if swearing means you're more intelligent, I'm like a full on genius. <laughs> You know, like, I am, I am so genius. Yeah, so anywho. Okay, I want to, my thing is I don't want to take too much off the top and bottom. Because obviously I don't want to lose the pink or the purple. So we're just going to, we're just going to take like kind of an eighth of an inch off these. Oh, did I have this? No, I didn't. I was like, oh, did I just wreck it? We're good. Yeah, so we still have our colors. I mean, it's still good, but it's a little bit cropped. So then the card base, Amy, please don't touch any electronics. I know. Although, really, for all Chris's help, and he is, he's a huge help. He's a huge help. Um, when it comes to, like, my ridiculous tech setup, he can't even help with some of that anymore. It's so ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. So I only took off, like... I can't even tell. I did those good. Okay. Anyway. Um, you know, I should be a trucker with my mouth. Oh yeah. I know, right? It just, it does. It has been proven. Um, it has been proven. There is actual scientific fact, and I've talked about this before, that swearing does legitimately help with pain relief. It does. And I know this for a fact because I used to do, <laughs> and again, I've talked about this before, in my previous life, okay, the life before all of this, I used to own a salon and I was a, I am a certified um, esthetician and I used to do hair removal. And, oh boy, when you are pulling out hair from certain areas of the human body, you know, a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. It helps to just... 
drop a few f bombs. It just it just helps. Hmm. So yeah, when's the bad weather supposed to hit? Soon ish, like later this afternoon and like into the evening. It is supposed to hit and be just nasty. Like I cancel. I had things booked for tomorrow morning to deal with and I canceled and reschedule appointments and things because I was like I don't even I don't want to go on the road got a fuzzy stuck in here get out of there get there we go okay so anyway yeah the weather's supposed to get nasty and I'm just dreading it see ooh look at that cocoa splatter and the gold sentiment strips we're gonna add some little sentiment strips. Um, okay. Oof, my nose. Um, I'm sorry, it's so I'm going to go I know, right? It is. It's a good stress reliever. I just, I use swear words like confetti, like splatter. They're just psh, psh, everywhere. So now I got the reverse lucky sentiment strips and lucky um what sentiment do I want to use I think I wanted to yeah these are all the same so that works right right yeah if you want some more lucky um I was gonna use to have your friendship yeah that's what I want to use. Lucky to have your friendship. I thought that would be nice. Just a nice one. However, um, Chris is out in the topic. <laughs> the topic took a turn here. I've talked about it in front of him. Like, yeah, it is what it is. And for, <laughs> because he's not here, I've done hair removal on him just so he could experience the experience, you know, because most people are curious that have never had hair ripped out of their body. You know, and he got to experience that many years ago when we were just like dating. <laughs> it was funny. Uh, anyway, some people call me a sadist, but that's just, that's just their opinion. Okay. Just gonna eyeball this. Um, and then you can also use the... Like the Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Label Wafer Dies. I've done that too. To cut out these little, these little sentiment strips. I just, more often than not, especially because like these ones are spaced out. Some of them are like really packed in and it gets a little, uh, but yeah. So then it'll say lucky to have your friendship. I thought that'd be cute. And I like the contrast. I'll show that in a second. Of the, the white on black, you know, it always looks nice with, um, with rainbow um love it great empathy exercise truth that is part of it although chris is someone who does have a lot of empathy thankfully like yeah yeah okay so the eyeball with the gun there we go okay um I'm gonna do, and then actually I will use, I don't have a link for it, but I'll link to it later. So I can show that, what we were talking about, of using the Memento Tuxedo, oh, I'm losing pieces of cardstock, whatever. Okay, let me move these out of the way. Okay, so I got these, and then, what is this? What's going on here? Give me one second, you guys. This is... Oh, Shh. annoying. Nothing important. Um, no one is curious about hair removal. He was just really into you. That that was part of it. But he was also curious. He was. Um, because especially in with hair removal, like a lot, it's another one of those weird things where like a lot of men are very like want to, and you know, it's an industry that is so like it's just women you know women do this but I had a lot of male clients back in the day and yeah it just because I was just no nonsense about it I was just like no you want to get your you know like your eyebrows cleaned up and shaped and things like that 100% like come right in I'll clean you up 
and yeah hair is hair is hair it's just one of those things so anywho i take i'm like getting distracted i'm distracting myself so all i was doing was with things like this where you have it's printed with um the simon blah, 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 back back with my professional hat the <clears throat> simon says stamps sentiment strips sentiment labels whatever they're called um they're printed on white cardstock with toner ink like laser printed and the ones to get the reverse ones just means that they print it obviously this solid black so that the lettering is white but obviously the cardstock itself is white because these are toner printed you te technically can foil them you can use um deco foil with these i've shown it in a video in the past it's not my favorite way to foil because i just I always struggle with it and I just I prefer generally for them to be just as is but you can use it but it needs to be deco foil not glimmer foil because there's two totally different types of foiling in crafting there's deco foil which is using like toner inks etc and then there's hot foiling like glimmer hot foiling where you use the plates and the machine and uh, die cut machine for pressure yada yada hopefully that makes sense so anyway the thing with when you trim these you are exposing then, so you've got your black on the front and then the white core. It's basically like almost like having a white core cardstock in a sense. So depending on my mood, sometimes I don't care that if the strip has like the white exposed, you know, it just depends. It depends on my mood. It depends on what's what I'm making and how things are looking because sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's not. But if you take a black marker like I did and run it just along that edge, it just covers it and then it just makes it look a little more seamless and kind of makes it look almost like it was black cardstock that, that's, that's what i'm going after so yeah um what's the last movie in distraction what was the last movie i watched uh chris and i watched aliens last night because we're i i talked about this a couple of lives ago i forget he and i are like on this just what we're, we're just like going back and like watching like old movies older movies especially 90s movies 90s early 2000s because there's so many good ones but aliens is older than me um and i i know i had i hadn't seen it i i knew the premise of it and everything so we watched it last night and then we'll watch the like the the sequels or whatever and and then the new one we watched we watched ms marvel ms marvel the marvels the marvels the marvels we watched that one the other day. I loved it. I enjoy it. I like Marvel movies though. I'm like, Chris and I both like Marvel stuff and I'm a big geek and I loved it. I loved the Marvels. I was like, I, I laughed so hard. I love the cats in it. They're so ridiculous. They're so ridiculous. It was such a good movie and I'm looking forward to watching it with my kids because we're getting them into all the, the Marvel cinematic universe because there's a lot. So yeah. Anywho, um, okay, I was like, what is happening? So, we got our sentiments, just like so. We'll deal with this in a minute, because I want to add something to the inside, and I, <laughs> I love this stamp set. It's linked below. Um, yeah, I linked to it. It's linked below, and it's linked, like, in the side of the shot or whatever. This one just... Oh, this appeals to my like silly snake because it's like lucky you you got me lucky you to have married me lucky you to have a kid like me lucky you to have me in your life i need to make cards for chris he'd get a kick out of it so yeah lucky you i am pretty awesome <laughs> i love this stamp set i just i love it i think it's hilarious but i thought like lucky to have your friendship and then I just thought I would add this sentiment, though, because I like this one. Like, actually, it's not luck. You're just that amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought I would just add this one to the inside. Um, yeah. Because I just thought it would be cute. Mm -hmm. Why not? We'll do that. So. Anywho. My only thing is I don't like... I think I'm going to cut the sentiment apart. I don't like how it's oriented. That It just annoys me. Especially to stamp on the inside of the card. So we're going to do some stamp surgery. Which is probably going to freak some people out. But you know, it's okay. 
So yeah, let's do it, man. We are just going to, and with this, it's a little, here, let me see if I can zoom in a bit. Give me a sec. Try not to touch any buttons, Amy. Try not to wreck anything, but. We talk really quietly. I might not wreck it. Okay. So with one like this, oof, I'm going to have to be very careful because there is like no gap between those two letters. There's enough of a gap between everything else. So you can mask, but even with this, I, I'm not, I'm not going to, obviously I'm not going to bother masking. Um, Cause again, they're close together and that's time. I would rather cut it apart because I'll use it more. So you just do it. You just commit. So we're just going to cut the part. And like I said, the only spot I'm got to be really careful is between those two letters. And then you can still use the stamp as it was intended because you just stick them up against each other next time you'll stamp. And then I'm going to carefully it's a little harder using like the very tips of my scissors on photopolymer. However, there's this fine little spot and I don't want to wreck the actual stamp portion. There we go. Get it right in there. There we go. I did it. So now I can put it and center it and be not so annoyed. We're good. We're good. So yeah, it was just, it was just the spot between the Y and the H right there. That was the only iffy. Everything else, there was enough of a gap to, to split them apart. Um, yeah, you could use an X-Acto knife. I, mm, I'm not as comfortable with an X-Acto knife. And at least with scissors, I can hold it up and see where I'm going. Because just that one spot. Yeah, we're good. Both stamps are intact. Like the actual lettering, I didn't cut into the lettering. Everything's intact and we're good to go. We're good. Everything's good. I did it. Okay, let's zoom back out so you guys aren't like right, right in there. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah. I'm still st attending stamp surgery medical school. Once you do it, it's not so bad, honestly. And my thing on, genuinely, it's like if I'm going to use a stamp more, you know, if I snip it apart or do whatever, it's, yeah. Um, I do get how it's like, Ooh, but if I want to use it the way it was intended, then I can just go like this because I'm not going to remove any of the little bits and I can just, they'll just fit right back where they were, you know? And then I can just stamp it like that. Or it fits back like this. Yeah, that's how it fits. So I could just go joop, joop, stamp the way it was intended. It doesn't do anything. But I wanted it more kind of centered. Actually, it's not flat. We're just bad enough. So then if I do it like that, I just like that better. Yeah. I'm gonna just make sure it's actually mostly straight. Looks like it is. Should be good. Should be good. Yep. We're good. We're good. Um, I've actually performed surgery before, and I'm not joking. <laughs> Or I didn't perform, I assisted in a surgery, an actual surgery in an actual, like, emergency room OR. That was many years ago. Crazy things that have happened in my life. But, uh, yeah. Fun times, man. I actually meant I'd, you know, considered going to med school. But life took other plans and then I considered it again um, a few years ago. We, we talked about it and I just, the only reason I didn't, I was like, I would have to give up literally everything because med school is a, it's a lot, you know, and I'm getting up there in age and I was like, ran all the numbers and I'm like, by the time I'm done, yada, 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 like, yeah. So anyway, anyway, 
we're going to use, and I think I linked, I'm pretty sure, this is Altenews Obsidian. I used this for the first time in one of my, I think last week's live? Yeah, I think it was last week's live. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So we'll just ink this up. And then stamp that down. There we go. It works. It works. Um, so then we just do that. And then the only thing I have to remember, obviously, is letting this ink dry because this is a very similar formula to like VersaFine Claire, like Nocturne ink. And because I think it says, yeah, it's an oil based pigment ink and they take longer to dry than your standard um, water based inks. Perfection. Okay, where's my, there we go. Okay. Okay, I thought I might have missed. Okay, we're good. We're good. So, yeah. Yeah, the only thing to ever worry about when you're cutting apart a photopolymer stamp is just making sure you're not actually cutting into the actual stamped image. So, yeah, generally it should be fine. This one was the most kind of like mm, that little one spot, but it wasn't like the end of the world. Um, but yeah, and it's pretty much only sentiments, I think, that I've ever really cut apart. I don't think I've ever cut apart an image that I can remember. It's usually sentiments because it's like, oh, I don't want like that part of the sentiment or yeah, I want it, you know, oriented a different way, those sorts of things. And it's like, yeah, I prefer this. So this is how I'm going to use it more often than not. So, okay. Where's my, I was like, what am I doing? Let's, um, crafty moms can fix anything. Truth. The amount of things that I have repaired. Um, what are the paper mats that come with the Misty Fort? They're just, they're like scratch paper. So, yeah, just your basic scratch paper so that you can, um, which is just nice to have. I, I used to use them way back in the day, all the little scratch paper, because I have like full on paper pads, because like other brands have made them to fit the Misty. And they're just nice because then you're not getting ink all over the place because the paper can absorb it. You know, if you're stamping off the edges of things, that sort of a thing. And yeah, that's what it's for. Just just to absorb excess ink, really. Okay, so we got that. And then, yeah, you can tell with these inks when they're still, like they're, I can't really fully show it. I don't, you can kind of see it where it's still shiny. It means it's still wet. And I always have to like, cause it's, I don't know why it's always tempting to be like, and that's when you'll smear it. Ask me how I know. Ask me how I know. Okay. So let's, I want to adhere this guy. And then this guy, I'm going to pop up with a little foam strip. Yes, that is the plan. And then we're going to add some bling. Ooh, you know what I should do? Do I want to be that extra? I kind of want to be that extra. If I die cut one more um, of the, yeah, yeah, why not? I'm already thinking about it. Let's do it. I'll die cut and I'll explain it when I do it. Technical words. Words are difficult. Where's my, there's a scrap that'll work. These scraps are too small. That one will work. That's why you keep all the scraps because they come in handy. Do these ones work because they're too narrow. Too narrow? These are too narrow. Too narrow. This one will work. It's a bigger scrap. Okay. We'll use that one. And then we'll use this one. Because if I adhere these behind the sentiment, it'll make the vellum float a little more. And it just gives it that little extra something. Why not? 
Okay. So we do that. Where's my die cut plates? Okay. Um. You could put tape on what you don't want to show. Yeah, I said that. Um, I could have masked it off. But that gets finicky when there's, especially when it's really, really close. And I would, I would literally just rather cut a stamp apart. <laughs> like sometimes I'll mask it off depending on things. But with a stamp like that, I know that I would, I will use it more like that. So why bother masking it every time? I just cut it apart. It's great. It's great. Okay. We'll do that one. We'll die cut one more. Um, there. Use a paper towel to press the ink. Yes, you can. You can press a tissue into it. A uh, scrap of cardstock that works as well. And I've done that at times when I'm not a hundred percent sure. But usually, I just let it air dry. Or if I'm in a hurry, I'll heat set it. I just try to avoid heat setting unless I have to because of heat setting, like using your heat tool, sometimes will make the cardstock warp a bit, which again, isn't the end of the world. It's just annoying. Um, so yeah. Okay. Pop these out. Get, there we go. Do the same thing with this one. Pop it out of there. And then that one. Okay, so move these guys out of the way. Let's go back to these. So get my glue. And if we glue these behind the letters. So we're gluing this to the back of the vellum. And then we'll glue it to the card front. And it'll just pop it up that tiny little bit and give it that little bit of a lift and it just I don't know it just looks cool it's subtle but it looks cool in my opinion okay so we'll do that one got some random little fuzzies none of which are really gonna matter because no one's gonna see it so let's get the let's get the adhesive in place Two. There we go. Just like so. Alright. Relatively new tread masking with tape and forgot to remove the tape before stamping. Yep. Yep. I've done that. And I wasn't relatively new when I did it either. That's another reason why I don't like masking, because especially if you're just like in the zone, you're not really thinking, and then you like press it down and it's like and then you lift it up and it's like, what did I just, why, why, why? <laughs> Been there, done that. But yeah, there we go. So you can't see them because they're hiding. But yeah, it just, it'll lift the vellum up. Just a smidge, just a smidge. Okay. Oh. When I hear the word masking, my mind goes blank. We used to do so much masking back in the day. You know, that was just what we did because we didn't have options and stamps were all wood mounted. So we weren't uh, cutting things apart. Plus we didn't have wafer dies to die cut everything. So it's like you just, you had to stamp and mask and stamp positioners to stamp other things and all that stuff. Like, things have changed a lot in the last 20 years. And I love it. I love it. There's so many more options now. Okay. So much more, like, options and fun things and variety, and I love it. Okay. Get some glue on this one. Just like. Okay, and then same thing, we just stick it on directly behind the die cut letters. 
then they will not show through the vellum. Give them a little tappy tap. Yep. And then now we can adhere these directly to the card base. This also makes it easier in a sense because I don't have to worry about the glue oozing out so much. Like, so you still don't want to like glop it on, but when you're applying the glue directly to the vellum and then sticking it to your card front, again, if you add too much glue, it'll ooze out past where the die cut letters are and then it shows and that's just not pretty. So yeah, we do that. Then we can take this center. Gonna stick it right there. Right there. Yep. Oh. Oof. Okay. The old stamp positioner where you stamped on a piece of plastic and then used the little T tool. Yep. Yep. That's what we had to do, man. I was good at that. <laughs> but yeah, it was, things are like so much different now and so much better. Uh, there we go. Ugh. Much better. And then just repeat the process. Put the glue on the back of the die cut letters, just like so. Okay. And then we repeat the process. I line it up, center it, figure out where I want to stick it, and then you commit. There we go. Okay. Then we press. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. And then I need, where'd I put those? My foam strips. Hello. Where'd you go? I need those. And foam strips. Gonna grab these, but I think I need to cut it. No, I'll put it lower. Yeah, I'm gonna put it lower because I don't want to cover. I like the swoop. I like that swoop. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, the stamp position was difficult for a lot of people because it just, it was. Um, and you just, you did, you had to be really precise with it. Question, what's your favorite way to make sure your Nouveau drops and liquid adhesives don't dry out or expire? You can't. Just don't buy so many. <laughs> they are, they, they all, those sorts of things have a shelf life. And if you're not going to use them, if you're not going to use them up, they're going to dry out. They're going to thicken over time and they're going to dry out. They're not meant to last forever. And I don't really work with the with Nouveau drops at all, even though I had so many of them, so many of them, and they're, they're gorgeous. I love them, but, um, yeah, again, I'm impatient and letting them dry fully, not my, not my strong suit. So yeah, like really anything liquid, you know, glues, all glues, Pace. I've talked about pace many times. Nouveau drops, your ink pads, all these things, they, they don't last forever. That's not how this stuff works. It's not physically possible. Can some of them last for unbelievable amount of years? Yes. You know, but that's not what they're meant to do. Um, so yeah, when things sit for years and years and years unused, don't be surprised when you go to open them and they're like hard as a rock, you know, just completely done for. Or even things that aren't liquids. 
um, I've been seeing posts from people and they're like, oh, this certain item has yellowed over time. And it's like, I remember when those were released years ago, years upon years upon years. It happens. It sucks. It 100% sucks. But it happens. Like, some stuff, it's just not meant to last forever. And unless things have been labeled as archival, because and that's more getting into like the scrapbooking side of things, because people expect their card making supplies to like be archival. A lot of products are not archival. Um, in fact, I can't even remember the last time I've seen something l labeled as like, like archival quality, because um, you usually have to pay more for it. Too many options. I know we have so many options now and it's so fun it's so fun I love it I love all the options my craft budget does not love all the options but I love all the options because <laughs> uh, even though I do this as a job I still pay a lot I order quite a bit on my own you know sadly I don't get everything sent to me it would be nice I would love it but I'm not that big of a deal to have all the things. Um, I need to put these, what did they do? I lost the, there they are. Let me put this back in the package so I don't lose, um, lose my wafer dies. Okay, so I got that. And then this actually still might be, um, a little bit, a little bit. Just a smidge, I can see. So if I just kind of press that in there without smearing, just press straight down. I think it's good. We should be good. Um, stamp a jig, yes, that's what it was called. Um, I put the new vote drops on wax paper in different sizes and use them from the wax paper with glue. That is one good way to get them. Um, yeah, to like make them and then adhere them like up. My thing also though that I don't, and that's why I quit using new vote drops, is even after they're completely dry, like I have some old cards, you know, and the, they're stacked in a pile and they've been pressed against other cards and things like new vote drops or enamel type accents like that flatten. Like they've been pressed into like the card above it, etc., and just that drove me nuts. And now, you know, it's different now. Again, we've got like five million options for embellishments. Back in the day, we didn't, and that's where nouveau drops were amazing. But now I have like more bling than I will use in the next seventeen lifetimes, and I love it. I love it. Okay, lots of my favorite thing cards. I'm in need of good black ink for stamping and alcohol friendly. Simon says stamps intense black ink. That's what I use in all my videos. And that's what I link to. And that has been my favorite for many, many, many years. Okay. I gotta just reinforce my score line here. And then I've got a dupey bit on this cardstock. Obviously, I must have dropped this at one point, like a brilliant person. So I'll just kind of smooth this out with my bone folder. Kind of fix. Fix the... There. That's better. That's better. Okay. Okay. Stickles glitter gel gets all gummed up. Yes. Especially, and I've talked about this, glitter paste, whether it's Stickles Glitter Gel or just any, pretty much almost any paste that has glitter in it. The formulas for those and the things that are needed to suspend that glitter in those pastes, it just, it, again, it is just what it is. They will dry out faster than anything else because it's just what happens. It just, it starts to like coagulate and thicken and then it will dry and especially glitter paste will basically turn hard as a rock. You cannot reconstitute 
glitter paste. Someone can try me and say they did, but I would beg to differ. Other paste sometimes, you know, like have at it. If it's dried right out, sometimes you can add some distilled water to it. Um, glitter paste when they're getting super thick, but they're not dried out yet. You can generally sometimes even add a bit of hand sanitizer to it. That sometimes will work. If you kind of enter it with the, the idea of like, this is done for, it's headed for the trash and then try it out. You never know. You might be able to get it working again. But yeah, pace will not last forever. They have a shelf life and it just varies by climate, everything. That's also why you use press and seal. Seal up your pace, but you don't need all the things, you know? It's just, if you're not gonna use it, it's gonna go bad. It's gonna dry out. Okay. And how do I wanna do this just flat? I kind of think I do. I was gonna pop this up with Big Mama foam tape, but I think I'm just gonna adhere it flat because I'm also gonna add some bling and the bling also has some lift to it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Cause it's my channel and I make the rolls. I make the rolls. Uh, it's linked. The score pal, I use the score buddy and it's linked. It's listed and linked. It's one of my most used tools. I've been using the same one for years and years and years. So many years that I can't even remember anymore. Um, let's put some glue on the back of this. And then um, we're gonna adhere that into place. And at least the glue gives me that wiggle room to get things lined up just like so and it's super bright and colorful and then do that a second time like that go. Alrighty. Get the 12 by 12 if you do stuff with 12 by 12. Honestly, it's it's just it's with that. It's just personal preference. I just I I have the 12 by 12. It's on a shelf like somewhere else. I rarely pull it out because I don't do anything and I've got I go right up to five by seven cards and I've shown it in videos and I just use my little score buddy. Um, I might eventually get my hands on the Altenew scoring board because it's a little bit taller, I think, than the score buddy. So I think the Altenew one, like, it's still, like, not huge, but I think it's a bit taller, which I was like, oh, that might be really nice. So we'll see. But, yeah, they're they're good. They're good. Um, I am. We still got to add bling. I'm hoping, we'll see if these will work. I might have to change my mind. These are the, the rainbow, they're just called rainbow. Rainbow Positively Dazzling Gems. Simon released these earlier this month. Yeah, it was a February release. They're glass, by the way. And they're not breakable. Someone asked that during like the Simon Says Stamp Live. And yeah, no, they, they took like a hammer to these. You would have to like smash them with a hammer to actually get them to break. They're glass, they're shiny, and these ones are the rainbow ones. And online, they don't look as cool as they do in real life. Let me see if I can actually show how these um, look because they reflect rainbow. Oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. It kind of. See, can you see it? Can you see it? like magic but yeah yeah i like them i like them a lot i ordered another pack even though you get a ton in this little container but i knew i was just like add to cart you know um thank you is it jameen is that how you pronounce it i'm horrible with pronouncing names um thank you i appreciate it so much thank you um but yeah yeah, I ordered I ordered another pack of these, even though you get like 
I don't know, it's like 200 and some in here, but bling. When they're not, like, when the light isn't, like, when they're not moving, they look very, like, just, like, blops, you know? But it's when you move them that it's, like, oh, look at all the colors. Look at all the pretty colors. So, yeah. Like, when I first got them, I was just, like, okay. And then I was, like, oh, these are fun. Like, they're fun. So we'll just, we're going to tuck one under there. We'll stick one over there. And then we'll stick, get out of the corner. What are you doing? Let's stick one over here. And just get in where you're supposed to go. No, stop it. There we go. We're good. Yes. And then we need another little one. He will go, he will go over here. Just, yes, yes. In fact, I'm changing my mind. Oh, mm, no. No, I'm not changing my mind. This is what I want. It's my channel. I can do what I want. <laughs> oh, great. That's going to be stuck in my head now. Um, will you be? Yes. Yes, I will be. Um, yeah, I'm going to be there. So, I booked my flights already. I booked my hotel. I will be there. I'm excited. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. I will run to my room and cry every time I'm overwhelmed, which will be a lot. It'll be a lot, but it'll be fun. Now we just got to adhere these guys. Put little, little blobs of glue. Don't need much. Stick it like that. And then um stick one right there. And then we'll stick one right there. There we go. There we go. Get that one and, and then two more and then we're done get over there that. there we go we did it we did it fabulous and then I can Stick those guys back in their, um, back in their spot. How can you, even if it just there's here, like, yes, yes. Okay, we'll get that in a second. Let's, let's just, so there's the finished card, cards, because they're both the same, but we got splatter and rainbow and die cuts and bling, like, the bling, you know? The bling, man, we love the bling. And then the inside. Because you guys know, I gotta finish the inside. That's just what I do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, yes. Okay, I can switch. If I do this, let me. I'm gonna do this. Focus camera on me, not on, not on mic stinking microphone and then I can actually do this just kind of stick him up there you know so that everybody can see my my cards and then I can actually do that there we go that works I'm like so super amazing at this whatever <laughs> so yeah since I am running solo now because like I said, Chris had to go do some very important errands and things before the crazy, crazy weather hits. So when it comes to the giveaway, once I'm officially done the live, I'll close out that document. It's linked below. People can put their name and address in. I will draw a couple winners. And since I'm not doing it during the live, I'll just announce it like in my blog post or probably I'll probably just announce it in the description box below the video. I'll just put the names, leave it like that. Um, cause usually we do it during the live announced during the live, et cetera. But 
I can't do that. So I'll do that. And then, yeah, and then I'll mail these out to the winners, which is always super fun. And, um, yeah. Let me, making sure I'm not, like, missing things, because we can chat for a little bit. I'm glad they came together. <laughs> Sometimes the ideas in my head don't always translate, you know, which is fine. Someone just commented that on one of my recent videos and I was responding to them and I was like, you just go with it. You know, sometimes the idea in your head just morphs into something else and that's fine. The only times it can be an issue is literally when I'm live with an audience and it's like, oh crap, <laughs> you know, but no, this is, this worked. So it was, it was fun. And I appreciate you guys tuning in and hanging out with me. It's, it's fun. I enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Sometimes it gets a little stressful. Sometimes I put my foot in my mouth and cause a bunch of chaos, but really that's just me. Um, but not this week. No. Yeah. Well, yes. Besides when I mail, it depends what's going on in my life when it comes to actually mailing out the winner's cards. Sometimes that takes a week or two, depending on my life, the weather, if there's a holiday, those sorts of things. But I do get them mailed out. I've been good. I have been good getting them out to everybody and it's been it's been nice I enjoy I enjoy sending them out to everybody and yeah I'm glad you guys had fun I had fun everything is listed and linked other than the only thing I think is the marker and I'll edit that after the live and I will um, add that to the list but everything else as of those watching live right now everything I've used other than that marker, I think. Yeah. Is listed and linked in the description box below the video. And then in the... I've got it pinned at the top of the live chat. And then just as always, stay tuned. Because I'll have plenty of like pre-filmed videos coming. Um, quick question. Have you always had anxiety I never did until oh yeah I've had anxiety since I was a kid I didn't know it was anxiety when I was a child I just when I learned and was diagnosed with it like later in life and then looked back it was like that's what that was yeah makes sense so now I have I have yeah very serious social anxiety and just anxiety in general it's it's so fun it's so fun um yeah it, it, it's, it's got many, it's got many faces and takes very, like, it causes, like, insomnia and so many fun things. And then, yeah, doing things in person. A lot of people don't get that, a vast majority, really, of content creators have anxiety. You know, just because we're, we've got an audience and things, it's like, yeah, but I'm sitting here alone. I'm talking to a camera. You know, I don't have people in front of me. You know, that's, that's different. So attending events like Create is extremely, it's not even just the event, it's even just going to the airport, going through that whole process, dealing with all the people and, you know, TSA and, oh, I'm not looking forward to any of that. That, like, my anxiety just starts, like, to spike and my heart rate starts going up and I'm just like, ah, it's awful. It's awful. I don't like it. But in the end, for me, it's worth it. It's fun. And Create was so much fun. Like being, I talked about this last live. One of them, I've talked about it a lot. Um, being in a area, because it's not like one room. It's, there were spread out in this huge, like the hotel's got a lot of space. And yeah, all these people that get it. Because especially card making. Of all the hobbies, card making is like the hardest thing to explain to people that don't get it. Like they're just like, you make cards. Like what? What? you know whereas like other things it's like I knit or I crochet and they're like oh they get it you know even talking to like the TSA when they're just like what like what are you here for and we just say like sc a scrapbooking convention because again why explain to them card making you know it's like we're just here for fun for scrapbooking and then they're just like okay <laughs> uh so yeah and yes therapy is a wonderful thing for those that have access to it therapy should be accessible cheap and accessible for everyone is it no that's a whole other whole other topic because yes for not just for anxiety for all the things everyone 
can benefit from therapy. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing. So, yeah. Um, yeah, travel just, oh, I hate it. It's really, and especially hard, like, by myself. And this year I'm going by myself. Last year I lucked out and was able to, like, <laughs> tail along with a friend of mine. But she's almost for sure not going to be able to go. So I think I will be traveling all by my lonesome. And that's really going to suck. Because I'm just like, like, I just, ugh, not fun. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> uh, anyway. Creative visualization. Yeah, those sorts of things don't work for me. It's, yeah. I'm I'm someone, though, that usually once I get over the first, when it's something new, like going to a new place, um, doing something like a new experience, new to me experience, like a, an event I've never time like create, like never been there before, da -da 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 -da. never flown internationally alone before, like all these things. But it's like once I've done it once, it really knocks back the anxiety because it's like I have a rough idea of what to expect. You know, still not the great with travel. I'm dreading it. I'm dreading the travel because air travel sucks. Like <laughs> It just sucks. But you got to do what you got to do. So, yeah, but I do get over it afterwards. Um, so, yeah. Um, I just want to see what my kids aren't here uh, right now. Anyway. But we don't, we don't talk about them on, on my channel because I keep my children off the internet. That was another rant I could have gone on a lot is, yeah, we don't, I personally do not share about my children. I let them have private lives and just keeping kids off the internet. That is, that is, a, that is one of the causes that I am very firmly on is, yeah, it is bad enough. Um, it is bad enough being an adult on the internet. I just, it's not a place for children. Um, so your anxiety is based on it. No, that's not what my anxiety is based on. It's just one of the factors. Um, I have social anxiety as well. And that is why I'm not sure about going to create. I would love to meet you. It is a lot of fun. It really, it legit. Like I say this as someone who has like severe and I mean severe social anxiety. Even doing things like lives. There, I'm getting better at it now. And I'm fine. You know? But there's a huge difference doing a pre-recorded video. Versus sitting here live. You know, I can't edit this. Can't go back and, you know, remove things. Change things. Whatever. So there's like that difference. And I was fine with it. I had some, like, I got some really weird messages and things when I first started doing lives and people just not understanding. I have been doing live videos for many years, just on different platforms, different formats, different things, and is what it is. But there's a, and then there's a huge difference between that and then doing like a physical presentation with like actual physical people. And then though, like to attend just like say a random event, you know, with lots of people, I don't know how I'd feel about that. Least, and I don't, I probably wouldn't go if I was by myself at all. Like just say a random event. But when it's something like create where it's literal fellow card makers, night and day difference because they all get it. And everyone is wonderful. Like I literally only had one person last year and they didn't say anything to me. They didn't do anything. It wasn't, you know, there was, it wasn't crazy. It was just one person who just they looked and I've I've talked about this because I, I I genuinely find it funny it was funny um they just they looked at me and they looked me up and down and they looked at my name tag and they just went hmm. and then turned around and walked on and I don't I found I just I honestly found that so funny I still I will always find that so funny because I'm just I share these things and I do say this as well like I'm not a big deal I'm just a human being. I make cards on the internet, man. You know? Um, and yeah, if if I had been very full of myself, and there are times where I can be just, I let my ego take over and I get very full of myself and I deserve to be like knocked down a peg or two. 
So if I maybe who knows, maybe I was in that moment. Maybe I was like, I'm like amazing or something. And that person sensed it. Who knows? It was just funny. <laughs> it was really funny. But um, but yeah, like it is a great event. And there's just there's so many great people and everyone is on the same page and I'm sure there's some, I heard things here and there, like people wanting to be whiners and complainers and that kind of thing, but that's like everywhere. So whatever, but I don't know. Everyone's just excited and pumped and you get to meet people and it's, just, it's fun. It's fun. You know, I, and again, poster child for social anxiety, literally that's, and I, I also don't like physical touch. Like I do not like people touching me, like stay out of my space like space bubble, you know, but at create, I gave more hugs to people than I have in my entire life. Like I gave them not just people coming up and hugging me. Like I was giving people hugs. It was, it was, and I was fine with it. Like I wasn't like, mm. I always only having meltdowns over other things. Honestly, it was more just, I would just have meltdowns over just being very, very, it's just, it's very overwhelming, you know, but I go back to my room, have a good cry, call Chris. And I'm like, oh, let it go home get it out of my system and then I was great and I'd go right back out get right back in and just dive right back in is what it is so yeah it's uh it's been it's fun it is fun and yeah um not sure how long it would take but it might be fun to take a couple extra days and drive yeah I can't it is a 24 hours of driving from here probably longer than that when you start thinking like border crossing and all the things but it is i can't i I literally don't have the time <laughs> even the flights for me because i'm in saskatchewan and the flights because i have to fly to toronto and then fly from toronto to columbus and it's basically all day you know between because again i have to do internet like switch and that's what i'm dreading because it's like you land in toronto and then i have to go to the international departures you know you go through the tsa which i just Oh, stressful. So stressful. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it was probably misbehaved. Maybe it was. That would actually be hilarious if it was Linda, the the splatter monster. That would actually, I, honestly, that would have been so funny. I hope that's who it was. I would, it would have been perfect. Perfect. It would have been perfect. I love it. That's in my head. That's who it's going to be. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. But, yeah. It was, um, what is Create? Create is just an uh, in-person event that Simon Says Stamp does. So it's Simon Says Create. And they they did it last year. They hadn't done it for many years because of the pandemic. They did it, they were doing it every other year usually, but it's in person because they hold it at a hotel um, very close to the Simon Says Stamp warehouse. And they have, this year, I said this earlier, they, Heidi confirmed that they booked twice as much space because you go in and they have like all these racks set up so you can shop in person and then they have tables set up and the all a bunch of the different brands so like waffle flower and um picket fence studios and uh honeybee stamps and spellbinders like a ton of brands are there and you can do um make and takes make it and take it I think that's how they call it. Create it, take it, I think is what they call it with Simon Says Stamp. But anyway, for those specifically, um, if you want to just show up and do, like, just do the shopping and do the make and takes, it's a flat fee at the door, which last year, I think it was $25. I forget. Don't quote me on the prices, because Simon Says Stamp will announce the specifics of all of that. But you could just pay the flat fee, and you can also pay for both days because it's two solid days. Um, and obviously it's cheaper if you do it like both days, whatever. And then they also do classes. Those you have to purchase ahead of time. And Simon will announce it. They'll announce who's doing the class, you know, what all is involved, blah, blah, blah. And then they, they announce when they will list the classes on their website because there's generally two options. They have two different groups. That's usually how it's been in the past. Again, don't quote me. Stay tuned because they'll do a video and explain and all the things. But you can purchase that and then you can do in-person classes as well. And I did the classes last year. Um, 
I got to meet Paula Cheney, who, for those that aren't aware, is like Tim Holtz, like right hand woman. And she heads up like the ideology and she is phenomenal. I was so excited. Like I got to meet Paula Cheney and Stacey Hutchinson. So I took their class. Um, and then last year it was a Gina Kay and Jennifer McGuire class. Um, I finally got to meet Gina Kay in person. I actually worked with her. I was her first design team member almost 20 years ago. That was a lifetime ago. Um, but yeah, finally got to meet Gina in person, which was really awesome because her and I used to talk on the phone all the time, all the things. And then, yeah, like a bunch of, um, brand ambassadors are there. People like me are going to be there like totally worth it. Just me. I'm joking. I'm joking. So yeah. And it's in Columbus, Ohio because it's right near, um, the Simon says stamp warehouse. So they bring in tons of product like there's just there's racks of products which is so that alone is kind of worth it because <laughs> how often do most of us even get to see stuff in real life you know that's part of the reason why i order so much you know because i don't get to see it in real life so anyway i hope that uh you bring an empty suitcase i'm this time i am <laughs> i am actually bringing an extra suitcase uh it wasn't so much for the crafty stuff for me because i i have a lot you know there there it's kind of ridiculous honestly you know but I went to Target last year and I filled a suitcase <laughs> so that was that was my thing I was like I went to Target and bought like uh so many things like a bunch of stuff for my kids and just stuff like that so yeah it was a ton of fun and yeah I would bring no clothes and just shop. Yeah, basically. Um, basically. It is. It is. It's a lot of fun. Like, and they also did it last year. They did it like, cause I'm not, again, I can't say for sure that they're going to do it this way. Cause it's, I can't imagine the amount of work they put into this. It's insane. But last year, um, if there was items you wanted that are on the Simon Says website, but they didn't have it like in person at the event, you could order it and they were sending people back to the warehouse and they would bring it to you which was awesome. Like it was awesome. It was so much fun. So yeah, it's, it's a load of fun. And for those, when it comes time, cause it's not till May that has been announced the time of I'm on my flights book. It's May 9th to 11th. It's officially based on the 10th and 11th. I'm not sure about the 9th yet. Um, but it's in May and I will be there. And if for some reason, nobody's watching my lives from now till then, because I'm still going to go live every Sunday and post all my videos, whatever. Um, yeah, just come up and say hi. Because even though I have social anxiety and, you know, I'll probably go cry later over all the things, um, people just got to say, hey, you know, I watch your videos or whatever. You know, I'll have some hopefully form a name tag. I don't know. I'm not sure. I have no idea. We'll see how things go. Things are going to be nuts. But it's fun. And I really, really enjoyed um, like getting to meet people. I forget. I've had people mess with me and they're like, oh, you know, I met you like this day and things. And I'm like, I don't, I can't remember. I suck. I suck at that. But also it's just, it is overwhelming, but in a good way, in a good way. It was a lot of fun. So, um, yeah. And yeah, the target was, I just had fun. I had fun at target because we don't have target in Canada. And we haven't for almost a decade now. And I'm still and forever will be butthurt about that. Because, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I'm looking forward because I will definitely be going to Target again. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I That's as far as I know of my plans. I'll be at Crate and I'm going to go to Target. That's it. That's all I know. I have, I, I don't know anything else. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a good time. So... Yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. And there'll be more info over the next, because Heidi said in her live, which was what, a week ago, two weeks ago, whenever it was, it was recent anyway, um, they will do another video soon. So in the next, stay tuned in the next week or two, I think, um, they're planning on like announcing the actual, I think classes and, and the info, the info that people need to know, um, Uh, your name tag needs to include, I know, right? I, I might make my own name tag because I might not get one. 
it depends because if you take cl- if you sign up for the classes you get like a lanyard and a name tag and you know all the things um but i'm not planning on taking the classes unless we'll see we'll see um because they're fun but if not i was like yeah i was like i'll make my own and maybe i'll just like stick my magnet on me or something <laughs> Uh, why no Target in Canada? Because they messed it up. They opened a whole bunch of them about a decade ago. Just over a decade ago now. That's a long time ago. Man, they expanded into Canada and they absolutely destroyed it. Like they... We are a very big country, land size-wise. Like size-wise, we are a huge country. But we don't have as many people. We have like a tenth of the population of the U.S. So things cost more. You know, it, it's a lot more of a logistical nightmare moving products from warehouses to stores and da, da, da. And Target just completely overestimated, underplanned, opened way too many locations without planning things. So they couldn't keep the location stock. They like they destroyed it to the point where they just were like hemorrhaging money and they closed them all down pulled out and they'll never apparently come back to Canada again so they did a great job good for Target yay I'm so mad yeah really sad about that so they ruined it anyway oh Chris hides a big credit card oh, I have my own credit card oh yeah no we that is we keep our own financials and that is something he and I have discussed this publicly before it's fine um yeah I'm I'm a big proponent of like I am an independent woman. I don't need no man. And when it comes to finances, I have my own and he has his own. And then we we come together for the bills and the joint things and all the stuff. But yeah. Yeah. We we run as independent adults. So um Okay, I think that's all the things. And yeah, it's a load of fun. And yeah, it was just sad, really. It was just Target just really messed it up when it came to a million things, a million things. There, There's, if you want, if anyone interested, you can do some digging, some Googling, because there's articles, people have done videos, different things, like really laying it out. There was a really good article by, I forget who did it, but they really broke it down, like how bad, like why it was so messed up, all the things that went wrong. Da, da, da. I remember reading it years ago. I'm sure it's somewhere on the interwebs somewhere, but it just sucks. It's sad. Um, but yeah, it was, it just sucked. You know, because especially up in Canada, we have less options. <laughs> we have less options. And Target was just, Target was fun because, yeah, Walmart. Anyway. um, Anyway. I always thought it was Canadian company. No, not at all. I think we're good. As always, I will take, um, I'll take my cards. I will take photos of them. And I'll do, you know, the blog post, etc., which is already linked. The blog post for today's video is linked in the description below, but then I'll obviously edit it to add the photos, um, to add my one link to this marker because everything else is listed and linked. And um, there was a lot of kid and candy store behavior at Crate last year. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. It was a little nuts. It was a little nuts. Like, not in a horrible way. It was just... Everyone was so excited and it didn't help that that was the first one in many years and way more people showed up than was anticipated. It was, it was chaos. It was so chaotic, but fun. It was still so fun. So anyway, um, yeah. I'll see another target pan in laundry and my daughter's room. Yeah. Well, for me, it's a novelty because I get to go literally once in a blue moon. Yeah. Like, I get to go, basically, like, it kind of works out to, like, once a decade. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, um, the, the form is below the video, but as soon as I end this live, I will be removing the form, because it's only during the live, but the, the Google form that you can put your name and address, and like always, I do not keep that info I don't I don't keep it I don't share it I don't sell it anything like that because it's just name and address but I don't 
do anything with it other than choose a winner, mail the cards to those winners, and then delete all that info because, you know, that is um, that is what it is. And yeah, once this is over, I will pick a couple winners. I'll announce them. Just I'll just announce them underneath the video because that's the only place because I can't do this live because I need to, you know, do the things. And yeah. In our house, it's what's mine is mine and what's his is mine. It's kind of how it is here too. <laughs> uh, that's usually how it works, isn't it? And Chris is fine with it. But I'm going to get this done. I've got other videos to edit and upload. I will see you guys next Sunday at 2 p.m. Um, and you never know. I might do another unscheduled live here and there as I tend to do sometimes just for funsies. And um, yeah, I will post the winners. I'll close down the form as soon as I click the button to end this. And then I'll post the winners below the video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.